Corundum is a crystalline form of aluminium oxide, Al, 2O, 3, with traces of iron, titanium and chromium. It is a rock-forming mineral. It is one of the naturally transparent materials, but can have different colors when impurities are present. Transparent specimens are used as gems, called ruby if red and pad parader if pink or orange. All other colors are called sapphire, for example, green sapphire for a green specimen. The name Kurandam is derived from Tamil word Kuravindam or Sanskrit word Kuravindam meaning ruby. Because of Kurandam's hardness, it can scratch almost every other mineral. It is commonly used as an abrasive on everything from sandpaper to large machines used in machining metals, plastics, and wood. Some emery is a mix of corundum and other substances, and the mix is less abrasive, with an average MOS hardness of 8.0. In addition to its hardness, corundum is unusual for its density of 4.02 grams per centimeter 3, which is very high for a transparent mineral composed of the low atomic mass elements aluminium and oxygen. Geology and occurrence. Corundum occurs as a mineral in mica schist, gneiss, and some marbles in metamorphic terrans. It also occurs in low silica igneous cyanite and nepheline cyanite intrusives. Other occurrences are as masses adjacent to ultramafic intrusives, associated with lamprophyre dikes and as large crystals in pegmatites. It commonly occurs as a detrite or mineral in stream and beach sands because of its hardness and resistance to weathering. The largest documented single crystal of corundum measured about 65 A, 40 A, 40 A cm, and weighed 152 A kg. The record has since been surpassed by certain synthetic bulls. Corundum for abrasives is mined in Zimbabwe, Russia, Sri Lanka and India. Historically it was mined from deposits associated with dunites in North Carolina, USA and from anepheline cyanite in Craigmont, Ontario. Emery grade corundum is found on the Greek island of Naxos and near Peekskill, New York, USA. Abrasive corundum is synthetically manufactured from bauxite. Four corundum axes dating back to 2500 BCE from the Lanzhou culture have been discovered in China. The surfaces of the axes are remarkably smoothly polished. Synthetic corundum, in 1837, Marc Antoine Gordon made the first synthetic rubies by fusing alumina at a high temperature with a small amount of chromium as a pigment. In 1847, Bowman made white synthetic sapphires by fusing alumina in boric acid. In 1877, Freenick and Frail made crystal corundum from which small stones could be cut. Frimy and Auguste Vernal manufactured artificial ruby by fusing bar F, 2 and Al, 2 O. 3 with a little chromium at temperatures above 2000 AA degrees Celsius. In 1903, Vernal announced he could produce synthetic rubies on a commercial scale using this flame fusion process. The Vernal process allows the production of flawless single crystal sapphires, rubies and other corundum gems of much larger size than normally found in nature. It is also possible to grow gem quality synthetic corundum by flux growth and hydrothermal synthesis. Because of the simplicity of the methods involved in corundum synthesis, large quantities of these crystals have become available on the market causing a significant reduction of price in recent years. Apart from ornamental uses, synthetic corundum is also used to produce mechanical parts, scratch-resistant optics, scratch-resistant watch crystals, instrument windows for satellites and spacecraft, and laser components. References